This rare disorder is sometimes referred to as a mix between an autoimmune disease, an infectious disease, and a cancer with symptoms that mimic many other disorders. The path to diagnosis can be complicated and often results in frequent misdiagnosis. The hope lies in awareness and ongoing treatment developments. Join us as we take you behind the mystery of Castleman disease. My name's Frank Garino. I'm 48 years old. I live in Levittown, New York. I got three amazing sons and my beautiful wife, Dina. They're my world, they're everything to me. A couple years ago, I started to have symptoms, uh, really upset stomach, uh, little side pains, a little bit of chest pains. Went to my primary, gave me a couple of stomach meds. As months went by, I started to get worse. Went back to my primary numerous times and uh, we decided to go to St. Francis to get some more intense uh, tests, CAT scans, MRIs. They found out that my uh, gallbladder was only working 3%. So they set me up for gallbladder surgery the following day. Approximately 6,500 to 8,700 new cases of Castleman disease are diagnosed every year. The subtype IMCD has up to 957 new cases per year. Physician, scientist, and best-selling author of Chasing My Cure, Dr. David Fagenbaum is a leading expert on Castleman disease. He is also on a very personal mission. I was a healthy third-year medical student when out of nowhere I became deathly ill. My organs shut down and I was so sick that I actually had my last rites read to me. Thankfully, chemotherapy saved my life, but unfortunately I would go on to have relapse after relapse after relapse. It started me on a mission towards trying to find a treatment and maybe even one day a cure for Castleman disease. So I'm continuing to work day after day to find that solution as a scientist, but also as a patient. After a day in the hospital, I came home, started to get very fatigued. I started to run a little fever, and I started to develop a cough. I called my primary, he admitted me back to the hospital for more tests. They saw that my lymph nodes were swollen. Uh, infectious disease doctors came in, they uh, quarantined me in a special room because they didn't know what I had. Castleman disease is a hyperinflammatory disorder where the immune system becomes activated and then begins to attack and shut down the body's vital organs. I was in the hospital for four weeks. Just every day, the numbers were getting worse. Kidney function, liver function, they were just really shutting down on me. And being in a hospital and the doctors, really not knowing what you have, I was really terrified. Patients can have flu-like symptoms or they're tired and they have low energy, uh, they can have night sweats. They can also go on to notice fluid accumulating around their ankles and in their bellies and sometimes a cough, again due to fluid accumulation. These are symptoms that you can see in a lot of other conditions. But the difference in Castleman disease is that these symptoms will persist. They don't come and go. I was in the hospital. They wound up taking a lymph node out and they did a biopsy on my lymph node. Now the doctors were treating me with uh, fluids, steroids, and uh, they were giving me chemotherapy, and uh, it wasn't working. Two, three days passed, they came back into the room, the full team of doctors, and they said to me and my wife, uh, looks like you have, your husband has Castleman disease. Doctors not knowing what was wrong with me, that scared me a lot. The diagnosis of all forms of Castleman disease should be made based on a thorough clinical history, physical examination, imaging, but most importantly, a lymph node biopsy where the complete lymph node is excised and then reviewed under a microscope. Castleman disease is classified as either unicentric Castleman disease where there's only a single enlarged lymph node or multicentric Castleman disease where there are multiple enlarged lymph nodes throughout the body. MCD patients with multicentric Castleman disease are the most severe cases. It's really important to classify those patients as either being caused by a virus called HHV8 or patients that are negative for that virus, which we call HHV8 negative or idiopathic multicentric Castleman disease. Those cases are the most difficult to treat because we know so little about what causes them. My wife Googled Castleman disease and Dr. David Feigenbaum came up. And that's how we learned about Castleman disease. We emailed uh, the doctor on the internet and uh, he called us back in about 
I would say 20 minutes, a half hour. He said, have your doctors call me. They're giving your husband the wrong medicine. In 2014, the anti-IL-6 therapy, siltuximab, also known as Silvent, became the first and only IMCD treatment approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration based on effectiveness, safety, and rigorous studies. Consensus guidelines now recommend it as a frontline therapy for patients with IMCD. The National Comprehensive Cancer Network also recommends Silvent as a preferred treatment for IMCD for plasma slash mixed histology. A couple years ago, we established the first ever treatment guidelines for idiopathic multicenter Castleman disease based on review of over 300 patients with IMCD. We recommend siltuximab first line based on it being the only FDA approved drug. Siltuximab targets a particular cytokine called interleukin-6. Interleukin-6 is elevated in a large number of Castleman's patients and blocking it is effective in between one third and one half of patients. In patients where blocking interleukin-6 is not effective, then we have to use more broad, non-specific treatments like chemotherapies or immunosuppressants. Once my doctor started working with David Feigenbaum, I got my official diagnosis. I was idiopathic, mostly centric Castleman disease. I found out from Dr. David Feigenbaum the medicine that he recommended for me is Cetuximab. Uh, 24 hours later, after my first treatment, was a real turning point for me. I woke up that morning and uh, my fever was gone and the cough, I, I, you know, I couldn't believe my cough stopped. The doctors came in that day and they told me that we're coming out of ICU, we're going into a regular room. It's been two years now since I've been on cetuximab. Um, I feel great. I did have some side effects. I get a uh, little itchy skin. About a couple hours after treatment, I get very fatigued, but it doesn't last too long at all. Uh, I'm back to the normal stuff that I used to do. I'm coaching my son's baseball, and uh, I'm back to work full time, and that means the world to me. Being on cetuximab, knowing that I have uh, this medicine to battle this, this really, really bad disease, and knowing that how good it works for me is just a godsend. Castleman disease is still poorly understood by the medical community, but one organization is posed to change that. Dr. Fagenbaum is the executive director and co-founder of the Castleman Disease Collaborative Network. When I started the CDCN back in 2012, I knew that if we didn't build a global community of physicians, researchers, and patients, that I wouldn't survive. Thankfully, over the last eight years, we've made incredible progress. It's just been incredible to watch the transition that we've made from chasing my cure to chasing our cures together and keeping patients at the center of everything that we do. For more information on Castleman disease, the research, and the treatment we've discussed, go to sylvent.com, cdcn.org, or you can visit our website, thebalancingact.com.